Okay, here we go. This is a challenge assignment. It's extra credit with this online learning. Okay, but we would normally uh, make it mandatory during the school year. Okay, composite reference triangles. What that means is we're putting two reference triangles together. So as you can see here, there's a 45, 45, 90, right? And they're sharing um, uh, a side length with a 30, 60, 90, or here's two 30, 60, 90 triangles sharing a side. Um, and then I'll do a third example of 245 sharing. Okay, so composite means where it's um, compines that means that it's made up of various um, parts or elements. Okay, I messed that up. Okay, for us, it's two reference triangles bonded um, by a side. There's a shared side. So we're going to solve for the missing length, which is x, so here. Okay, so we're not going to fill in all of them. We just want to find the specific side length, okay? It's really not that bad. If you're comfortable with the 45s and the 3060s, it goes really quickly. Um, if you're comfortable with the, with the shortcut way of finding the scale factor and moving along, it's actually very quick, okay? Okay, so what do you want to do? You want to separate and solve for the bonded side. Your bonded or shared side length um, which is the side of the triangle, is your bridge to finding your missing length x, okay? So don't be intimidated. This is actually really not that bad at all. Okay, so what does it mean the bridge is your bonded or shared side? Our shared side is this one here. I have to, must, must, must find that length, so that I can find the x. Now, where do you start? You start with the number that's given because that's gonna give us our scale factor. So this is where you start and this is where you end, obviously x, right? Okay, so um, I won't write too much, but I will separate it. So I'm gonna separate this triangle just right here, okay, because I'm gonna write on it. So this is 30. Right, obviously this is 60, and I know my, and here's my six, okay? Okay, now remember, my goal is I want to find this side length because that is this one here, which is shared. Okay, so all I did was just kind of slide it out. Okay, so there's my six. All right, typically, what do we know? The 30, 60 side is two, the 30, 90 side is red three, and the 60, 90 side is one. Okay, find your scale factor. My scale factor is, I don't want to use the yellow again because it's right here, right? Okay, so what is your scale factor? Well, what is mu divided by reference? Well, my scale factor is 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So my scale factor is 3, right? 6 divided by 2, 3. So what would this side length be? Well, what's scale factor times reference? Three. So with a different color, just so it can stand out. I just realized I can't use the pen. Right? That means this side length is three. Well, that is this side. So now it's three. Right? Okay. So now I'm going to pull this triangle out here. And it's a 45. And so here's my x, here's 3, right? Because, in fact, I should probably write it with the same color ink so you know where it came from. There's my 3. Okay, so now do it all over again. So get my red. Hypotenuse is red, 2. Legs are 1, 1. Okay, find your scale factor. Your scale factor is this ratio. Okay, so what? Okay, so your scale factor is 3 over red 2. Okay, but you can grab your calculator, and I know that's kind of in the way, so we're just going to bring it right over here. All right, what you're going to get is 3 red 2 over 2. That is your scale factor. Okay, now remember, rationalizing a denominator. You would multiply red 2, red 2, 
what's rad two times rad two, rad four, which is two, what's three times rad two, three rad two, or let's move my arm. What is three divided by rad two? Three rad two over two, okay? Okay, that is my scale factor. So now find x if x is reference side is one, what's three rad two over two times one? Three rad two over two. And so that is your answer. Okay, not too bad. Okay, so what if you didn't want to write all this extra like, well, do I have to separate the triangles? No, not at all. So here, remember, this side is a 30, 60 side. That was your two. That's how I got the scale factor three. Well, this shared side is the 60, 90 side, which is typically one. So one times three gave me three. And then this is typically rad two. So what's three divided by rad two? Three rad two over two. So if that's my scale factor, what is X? Well, X is typically one. So there's three rad two over two. So it can be done quicker. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let's Let's do this one. All right, so let me get my pen and let's mark a few more items. Okay, so this is 60, this is 60, right? This is my shared side. That is your bridge going between the two. Okay, we have to find that side length. Okay, so what if you don't wanna separate? What if you're like, let's try and do this one where we kind of work within the triangle and I'll put the scale factor here and I'll put one over here so we kind of know that we're going in this direction. We're gonna start here, we're gonna end here, okay? All right, the 30, remember, if this is 90, this is also 90, right? Okay, so the 30, 90, the 30, 60 side is two, I don't want that. This is typically rad three, right? And the 60, 90 side is typically one. Okay, so now what is your scale factor? Well, what's seven divided by rad three? My scale factor would be seven. Okay, that's annoying. I wrote it wrong. Okay, my scale factor would be seven over rad three, but by rationalizing your denominator, you would get seven rad three over three. Okay, so this is my scale factor. Okay, so now find that length. Well, what's my scale factor times my reference? That gives me this length. So this becomes 7 rad 3 over 3. Okay. All right, so we are now done with the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So now we're moving on to this triangle. This is now... You probably have to rewrite this one because now it's, let's rewrite that one. It'll probably be easier because I have already markers written everywhere. Okay, we said this is seven rad three over three, right? And actually I'm gonna write it with the blue. So that's where that came from, right? Because I'm solving it. So that's seven rad three over three. Okay, now with a red marker, I'm gonna label it with a reference triangle, okay? The 30, 90 side is rad three, and the 60, 30 side is two. I don't care about that one, right? I don't need that right now, right? Nothing against it, just I don't need it right now. Okay, what's your scale factor here? Your scale factor now is a fraction. It's a fraction of a fraction, it's these two. So my scale factor is seven rad three over three over rad three. You're like, oh my goodness. So this is what I mean. The way this gets difficult is by the numbers. Okay, you could put it in the calculator, but also do it by hand. Okay, you have seven rad three down three, and then you have fraction rad three, right? Seven rad three over three, rad three, right? Okay, what do you get? Seven. Okay, this gives me seven, and you're like, how? How, how, how? All right, reciprocal this. Remember, this is a numerator, this is a denominator, right? Okay, so if you wanna get rid of that, flip it. And so this is really over one. So what's one times rad three? And do it to the top, what's one times rad three? 
I get, right? And then I get seven rad three, three rad three. And you get seven over three. Did I put that in the calculator wrong? Okay, so I get seven over three, and you're like, wait, we didn't get that on the calculator. Okay, here's is what here's what I did wrong. I was like retyped it in. Fraction, fraction. See, that fraction needs to be larger. I had it as a little one, so I reciprocaled the wrong thing. So you get, what am I grabbing? Seven rad three over three down rad three. You're like, how does that matter? When I typed in this, I'll, I'll show you in a second. Okay, let me just do this. I haven't used that fraction fraction since like a year, so that's why I just assumed. Okay, seven rad three over three rad three. Okay, you hit equal. There's my seven thirds, right? So look, I can do it by hand, but apparently the calculator, you gotta make sure. Okay, so my scale factor is seven over three. Okay, what did I do wrong that gave me seven? Okay, so pay attention to your fraction bars right? See how this one's large? Okay, so what I did is I went 7 rad 3, what am I typing? 3, and then I went rad 3. So see how this is a smaller fraction? So what it's doing is it's taking the denominator that's a fraction, so when it reciprocaled it, that's how you ended up with what you got. Okay, so that's why this came out to seven. It wasn't right. Okay, so what do you want to make sure? Hit it twice and see how that is your main fraction. So my numerator is a fraction. My denominator is not. Okay, so that's what we have. And there's our seven thirds. Okay. All right. Well, there's your little lesson. Good thing I messed up. Okay. So this is my scale factor. So then if X, the reference is two, scale factor times reference gives me X. So X is equal to two times seven, 14 over three. And this is your answer. Okay. Okay, last one. Okay, third one. So here we go. They're 45s. All right, this is where we're starting. This is typically rad 2. I want the shared side, which is right there. Okay, so find me that length. Okay, my scale factor is 8 over rad 2. Okay, well, if you rationalize the denominator, that's 8 over rad 2. 8 rad 2, this becomes 2, that simplifies, I get 4 rad 2. Okay, let's check with the calculator, right? I can do it by hand, but you know, the calculator, I mess up. 4 rad 2. Okay, so that's my scale factor. My legs are typically 1, 1. So what is this side length then? It is 4 rad 2. So this is 4 rad 2. Well, this is 4 rad 2, because see how the tick marks? You know that it's a 45, 45, 90. So you already, whoops, sorry. You already know that this is 4 rad 2 as well, because it's a 45, 45, 90, right? Because that's what the tick marks mean, right? Base angle theorem and the converse of the base angle theorem. Okay, so that's it. So then my x side, which is a hypotenuse, is rad 2. So in this case, your scale factor for the second triangle is also 4 rad 2 because it would be 4 rad 2 over 1, which is just 4 rad 2. So what's 4 rad 2 times rad 2? 4 rad 2 times rad 2, this is rad 4, which is 2, so it is 8, and this is your answer. So when you have composite triangles or composite right triangles that are 45, 45 or 30, 69,